Uh, all right, we're gonna roll here. All right, we're out here at the test site with TJ Talty. Can you show us around out here a little bit of what we, you guys, can we actually see the test article that we were out sure. here watching you test? We call this our East Test Cell. Come over here, you'll see our test stand. We have our propellant tanks, we have our pressure lines coming in, and our kerosene line, which is a lot, used a lot less, so we have a small kerosene tank. These three are all peroxide tanks. Comes down in here to our test article with our run valves. Uh, thruster's still hot, so we're not gonna get too close to it. You have your uh, gas generator up top, which was uh, at a model prop is about 60 pounds. When you have the uh, kerosene injector, which is the stainless steel spacer right there, you get about 110 uh, pounds of thrust out of it. We have a big heat sink copper chamber down there so we can run tests without having to worry about overheating the system. And that's why we were able to go through 12 tests in two hours. Wow, this is very impressive, man. Very nice setup you've got out here. <clears throat> so you guys are measuring thrust here too, huh? Yes, Listen. sir. Tell everybody why measuring thrust is so important. Well, you can do uh, analytical tests all the time or calculations, but without actually putting some load cells up there to confirm what your suspicions are on C-star and efficiencies, we like to throw load cells up there just to give us that warm fuzzy that we're good. Right, so what you're saying is there's losses that, yeah, you can calculate them, but you don't know Correct. what they really are until you actually measure the forces. Yes, sir. And then you back it out. Correct. All right, well, this is really cool. Now, what's, uh, so why do you have three bottles out here? Is that just for convenience, or is this a three-banger? This, uh, the three bottles were added into the system due to our final test, which will be a full duration flight time of two and a half minutes. So we'll actually burn the thruster for two and a half minutes okay. nonstop, and we didn't want to have to refuel or anything. So. All right, so these tanks could be representative of a system. It's six minutes of burn time. Six minutes, six minutes of burn time. Well, that's, that's right. About two and a half right minutes there. per tank is what it was, and we give us, we give, us our, give us a little bit of extra in there. Well, all right, well, this is cool. Well, thanks for showing us around. Sure. Those are scuba tanks, right? Yes, yeah, so those are scuba tanks out of uh, offline. We saved a lot of money. With that. Keep that in mind. Uh, if you aren't doing flight, go scuba. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah.